All right, you primitive screwheads. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Sergeant Moose here, back with another Evil Dead the Game video. And today, guys, I want to kind of do a little maybe state of the game type video. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the skill-based, or should I say level-based matchmaking system that has been implemented in this game just a little over a week ago. But before we jump into it, guys, before we start talking about it, I want to kind of flash back to a video that I made just over a week ago, just days prior to the implementation of the level-based matchmaking system and what we kind of predicted what could happen with the system. And I'm not going to lie, guys, we were kind of spot on about it and it's not a good thing for Evil Dead the game right now. It is in a really rough state. So let's flash back to that. Let's see what we kind of talked about. Where it would fail is with the high level players such as myself and even players that are even higher than me. What's going to happen is the queue times are going to be off the charts for that because there's just not enough of the higher level players that remained in this game right now. For In my opinion, if that was going to be implemented at any time in this game, it should have been from launch. Now. Is you're going to find yourself playing against the same players all the time because you're going to be playing the same players over and over and over and it's and the queue times are going to take severely long because even with the influx of new players the player base in this game in my opinion is still not big enough for a matchmaking or rank system for instance you know if there's a specific amount of high number players you know that's gonna they're gonna have to fish through and try to find a demon or survivors to accommodate that demon and it's going to take a lot longer because there's simply just not the player base there so fast forward a little bit guys just until recently a level based matchmaking system has been implemented in this game and what that means essentially it's pretty simple the higher level you are in this game you're going to be facing opponents of a similar level maybe a little bit lower maybe a little bit higher but it's kind of more balanced out in terms of level but is it balanced out in terms of actual gameplay the answer is a big fat no the only thing that this level-based matchmaking is showing me right now, guys, is how unbalanced this game is. And survivors, I'm looking at you because it's not unbalanced in favor of the demon. It is unbalanced in favor of the survivors. We finally have the chance to see what consistent games of four well-coordinated survivors can do to a demon, guys. And this can be for any demon in this game even the best of the best demons are now losing consistently because of this level based matchmaking and is that because of a skill issue with these demon mains it is absolutely not it is basically just demonstrating that four survivors have the upper hand for good survivors i should say have the upper hand against a good demon and unfortunately what that is causing is it is causing this game to go right down the shitter and die and the reason being is because simply Nobody wants to play demon anymore. And if they do play demon, they're constantly dodging lobbies against high-level players or players that they may even know. Because again, like we mentioned in our previous video, there's not a big player base in this game. So you are matching against pretty much the same players over and over and over. You know, you may play them once, win or lose to them, and then two or three matches later, you're getting the exact same squad again because of the, those are the only people that are online that can accommodate your level. So essentially, I just want to mention, guys, like I played, uh, uh, you know, I play this game consistently all the time. And especially at nighttime, the queue times, especially for Demon, even survivors are absolutely atrocious. I mean, you are waiting literally sometimes. I've had 20 minute waits just to get a match on either side. And it can be a match against the same team that I just faced or you're getting uh, matched with somebody that instantly dodges you and then you're back in the waiting room again. This game has become a waiting simulator and it's just not fun for Demon anymore. It seems, after all the data is collected, the Demon that seems to have the best chance at winning in this game would be the Plaguebringer. Otherwise, 
all other demons against a good survivor comp are going to lose 90% of the time. That is the way it is, and that is not the way it should be. And it's because of the mechanics in the game. Again, it's not skill. Demons are losing harshly now to good survivors. So, with that said, guys, it is not good. And honestly, I've been praising this game from the very beginning, from the very start. And I still do. Saber does some awesome things with this game. But this level-based matchmaking system is not working with the current balance of this game right now. Now, could they have done, they could have dug a little bit deeper and maybe done a more of a skilled base matchmaking more than a level based matchmaking. I don't think there's any skill based in this at all, guys. You can win or lose against a good team, or you can win or lose against a good demon, and you can still get them in the very next game or a few more games down the road. It has nothing to do with skill or ranking or anything. It is simply just level based. So it's definitely not a good thing, and it's not good for the state of this game. I'll tell you that much. And guys, I want to say I play both sides. I don't like to consider myself a demon main, but the ones that I have seen that are demon mains that play specifically just demon are now slowing down on the game, leaving the game, waiting for a patch to buff up demons a little bit more because every single match has become an ultimate sweat fest. There is no in-between. There's no kind of just taking it back and relax. Okay, maybe you might get one match out of every 10 that you, know, you can win before the book phase, but now it has come down to the ultimate panic struggle to try to win at the book in almost every single game as the demon. Survivors can make many, many mistakes. They can do a lot of things wrong, and they still are able to compete down to the final seconds of the game. And honestly, guys, I'm not trying to make this video like a cry fest or a pity fest or anything like that because of the unbalance, because it's not affecting me as much as it's affecting some players, because I was never an amazing demon man to begin with. And especially now, I definitely play Survivor a ton more than demon because it's just not as fun as what it used to be. But it's still genuinely concerning for the game as a whole, because for an asymmetrical game to thrive, obviously you need players to keep these cues going. And even if you are a Survivor, man you're finding that games are a lot easier now against these demons it's still not going to be beneficial to you because there's not going to be any demons queuing up for you to play against <laughs> so that is the biggest problem in this game right now and as long as this level based matchmaking is still implemented or not tweaked or changed or balance changes made for both sides this game will surely die because it is hanging on by a thread right now guys and i hate to say that because i love evil dead in general i love this game i want this game to thrive for a very long future and i think it still will but at the same time nobody wants to sit through these extremely long queue times and nobody wants to sweat their asses off and feel like feel like it's a task every single game to win sometimes even if you do win you get that really good win against the really good team it's still kind of disheartening because it was so sweaty and it's just not fun and you want to shut the game off because you're so stressed out from playing it and it should not be that way um so, uh, again, the level-based matchmaking clearly shows the unbalance between survivors and demons, and uh, I know there's probably going to be a lot of survivor mains probably not agreeing with me on this video, but it is the absolute truth. The game, right now, a good survivor squad is much better than a good demon, simply because of balancing, um, and that's going to hurt the game for a long run, because if we don't have demons, we can't play survivor matches. So even if you're winning on survivor side, having a blast, you're not going to be able to play the game if you don't have demons to play against. So with that said, guys, I could say a whole lot more about this, but I want to know your guys' opinions down in the comments, because I will say right now, as someone that's been playing this game for a very long time, I've never seen queue times this long. Um, I'm playing against the same players over and over and over. Um, Every match, win or lose, is an absolute sweat fest. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Again, not shitting on the game or anything like that, but I am saying that changes are going to have to be made. I've dealt with many asymmetrical games in the past that have gone down this road and have ended up in a very bad situation. I don't want that to, to happen to this game. So with that said, guys, I hope uh, everybody enjoyed the video. My name is Sergeant Moose. Thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.